Hello there, folks. Hey, this is Joe Wazoo here. Today's quick, short, cute little video is going to talk about doing some MQTT to a UbiDots website. So here I'm at ubidots.com. I think you can sign up. It's for free uh, and allow, I think, 4,000 data points per day uh, in here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and log into my account here. Let me just want you to see how easy this is here. Did I press the button? I guess I did. Okay. So here I am in my UbiDots uh, dashboard. Got nothing going on here. If I go to devices, let's just look here real quick. I haven't played in here in a while. Matter of fact, apparently, apparently, over two years ago, I connected a Geo9 to this unit uh, way back then. So today I want to add a new product to this or a new device. So I'm going to go over here to my little pull down here, and I'm going to go down to my API credentials. And in API credentials, I'm going to copy my token. There's a token right here. I'm going to gray this out. But there's a token. I'm going to copy that. So I copy those credentials. That puts it on my clipboard. I'm going to go over here to Crimson. In the background, i got Crimson running, doing a bunch of stuff with an OE application. So this is perfect. I'm going to click on Communications over here. And in Communications, under the connectors, you've got these other connectors. We actually have one pre-written for UB dots. I'm going to go ahead and enable this connector. Turn it on here. Not going to do any changes here. Uh, down here in device name, I'm going to call this my OEE because that's kind of what this little database is doing. Uh, and down here where it says token, I'm going to right click and paste that so-called token in there. Now, uh, you also have this thing here called diagnostics. I have already created a tag called MQTT status. I'm going to put that here. I want to kind of see what's going on there. On the network tab, uh, I'm not going to do anything here. Tag set, here's where you tell it what you want to log. Well, I'm actually want to log this hourly log, so I'm going to put this hourly here. Uh, by default, I think this is set to periodic. I'm going to set this up today to be triggered because I uh, want this only to get updated when it changes. So I'm doing some logging here. So I'm going to use this tag called log me that's going to go high or on when I'm logging to a the uh, data the S bah, SD card in this unit. And then I'm going to use this MQTE done as an acknowledge to see if it worked. So that takes care of that. Um, over here on display pages, here's the application. Uh, let's go ahead and save this. Let me make this so you can see the file name here. I'm going to go ahead and save this program, and I'm going to go ahead and download this or update this to my unit. Okay, let's go look at our website here. It's in the background right here. There it is. All right, so we've got it uh, set. Let me turn on my machine so we start generating some data. And we've got it to update uh, every 60 seconds. So after 60 seconds goes by, it's going to do a read. Maybe for our video, I'll cut this down to maybe, uh, well, let's let it go. Let's just let it, I can see the seconds is currently at 45 here. So let's see what it does. We'll see what happens when this gets to 59 seconds. We're looking for some stuff here to go on. MQT status is four, means it's connected. Let's see what happens here. Boom, boom. Oh, done went on. Okay, that looks good. I'm thinking, excuse me for my excitement, but I'm thinking, that something just happened. So let's go back to, uh, oh, why is this thing doing this to me? Well, um, well, we can go the long way here. Let's go back to our UbiDots board here. Okay, I'm going to do a refresh. Let's see if we get this OEE thing in here. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look at there, folks. There's the, a few seconds ago. Wow, that's crazy. Let me click on this guy. Look at here. It says the hour log is 120. That's weird. Where did it get that from? Well, if we go over here, look at here. The last reading it did, it was 120. So that's absolutely correct. Now it's going to do another one here at uh, 60 seconds. And basically this thing's keeping track of how many the units or whatever these things makes. So that hour team, we made 277 units. Well, 
Uh, yeah, and then we're at a total now of 397, so that looks pretty good. Yep, you know what's interesting here is that number is really, let me go here. That should be correct. Anyway, who cares about the number? But those are showing up. Now let's go back to our Yubi dots here. Ah, really? Okay. There, Yubi dots. That's at 120. I'm going to upload or refresh this. Let's see if it shows two something this time. 277. How fun is that? And then if I click on this, I think I go here. Now it says no air loading, but team, if you hit, I'm not a Yubi dots expert. Just so you know, I'm not a UB Dots expert. But if I go here, click the Today button here, and maybe try try again. Let's see. Look at here. Look at here. Here's the first reading. There's the second reading. I'll be darned if I let this thing run all day. I bet it'll fill in with data. Anyway, that's how easy it is to do UB Dots. Literally, you go to your login. You go down to your API credentials. You copy the token from here. You copy this token. You just hit this button here. Copy it. Go back to Crimson. And in Crimson of Communications, you go ahead and turn on your agent here, give your device some name, put a name in, and then you put the token in here, and then you just go to Tag Set, and you've got to put your tags here. I recommend, uh, if you're going to do this under the periodic, which is the default, I recommend maybe change an update rate to t uh, 10 seconds or 60 seconds. If you leave this at once a second, and you got a bunch of tags in here, you only get 4,000 readings a day in the free sample. You're going to fill that up in no time at all. So I recommend maybe making this at 60 seconds or 30 seconds. Anyway, that's how fun and easy it is to use UbiDots to get data to MQTT to a dashboard. Pretty darn cool. Hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have yourself a great day. See you later.